All right, so many of you have been staring at this ugly petunia plant behind me, or many petunia plants, those seedlings we did. Those are the seedlings we did, guys. Many of you have been staring at that behind me over the summer as I've made videos, and you say, Mike, that thing is uglier than sin. Why do you continue to grow it there? Let's go ahead and look at this thing real close. And there's a very good reason for it. Look at this thing. It's ugly. It is ugly. I have specifically, I mean, it's got some beautiful blooms, but the plant isn't growing that well. So, I've been specifically doing this for you guys to get to this point to create a project so I can help some of you out that love the petunia baskets because these hanging baskets can get unkempt and out of control at times. I like this side better. It's got more flowers, but anyway, my plan is to come through here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to hack this all the way back to the pot and we're going to get tons more massive, beautiful green growth out of it. Now, today is August 17th, and so it's getting really late in the season. I probably should have done this earlier, but I was waiting for this thing to grow into an ugly mess to show you how this works. Hopefully, keep our fingers crossed, hopefully we've got enough summer left to see this work out. But I'm going to hack this thing back. Let's go. And there it is, all cut back. And there are all the petunia flowers that we just cut out of this thing. Massive amount, and boy, they sure were getting ugly, that growth on there, but that's what we've got left. And this is just to show you just how much you can abuse these hanging baskets and still end up with beautiful plants in the end. So today is August 17th. Like I said, we'll hope and pray there's enough warmth left. Let's come back when something's happened. Here we go. And we're back, and it's been a little while, and I don't even remember exactly how long it's been, but look at that beautiful hanging basket of petunias, and they have just bloomed and puffed up beautifully with lots of new green growth. Look at all of that green growth and those beautiful blooms. Now, remember, these all came from those seedlings, and so you're not going to get all the individual different varieties that we had from the original batch from the previous year, but... We still got beautiful blooms. And if we come around to this side, I've got one red right there. I might take a cutting of that thing, but let's sit down and look at this and talk about this for a minute. So as you see, this thing is once again massive. We hacked it all the way back to the surface of the pot there and it was looking rather bleak. It's because I let it grow scraggly and ugly and I cut it all the way back to the main stems. But these things are so prolific, it doesn't take much for them to bounce back. I mean, as you can see, these top little growths right here, they're a foot off of the top of that basket and they're just looking full and healthy and beautiful and green with lots of blooms all over them. So let's answer some questions real quick because I know you've got them. Now, these petunias right here, we're headed into fall. In fact, it is fall. It just turned over to fall maybe a week ago or two weeks ago, something like that. Today is October 6th. So, we're in fall now. It's getting colder out. These things aren't going to last that much longer. I mean, they're doing really good right now, and they're blooming, and they'll continue to bloom for a few more weeks, but, you know, we're in October now. So, you might be thinking, what do I do with this? We've just done all this work for nothing. And, by the way, you could have done this, cut these back any time in the summer, and they would have bloomed and come back and all that good stuff earlier on. But what do we do with these now? And this is where you guys are asking so many questions about this. And I want to know, first of all, or I want to tell you, first of all, I did a whole series of videos on this. Some of them are kind of hard to find because they didn't have the same names on the titles. But if you just go back through my channel, you can find them in where I took these in the fall and I propagated them and got them all the way through the winter. And then the next year, I potted them out here, hung them up, and grew them all summer long from the previous spring. So for those of you who are saying, I want to grow petunias year after year in my house, you absolutely can do that. You can take cuttings of these petunias right here and then root them inside your house. It's getting too cold to do it out here. They do root really easily though, so you might get them to root out here, but then you're going to have to bring them inside. So you got to do this indoors. You're going to need some supplemental lighting as well, which can be simple and cheap. It could be as cheap as fluorescent tubes. It could be CFLs, compact, compact fluorescent lights. And so it, it doesn't have to be real expensive. If you want to start getting into it, you can buy all kinds of indoor grow lights. LEDs are becoming my favorite. I've got multiple videos about them. 
I highly recommend the LEDs because they last so long. They do cost a little bit up front, but you'll have them for years, up to 10 years they've got of lifespan in them. And then as I've showed you in other videos, you can have these beautiful blooms all winter long under your lights in your house and you just keep pruning them back as they get big and bushy like this and they come back again as long as you keep fertilizing them and watering them and pruning them and giving light to them they will grow all winter long and continue doing that cycle over and over and over again until spring at which time you can either bring the basket back outside or you can take a whole bunch more cuttings early on late winter early spring get these things growing and have hundreds of petunias growing outside before the nurseries are even selling them now a hanging basket like this goes for like up to forty dollars in some of these nurseries do you imagine having that for free it really is possible guys so start taking cuttings now get them indoors and you can keep these all winter long. And the other really cool thing about this is if you bought multiple varieties and you found a particular bloom that you liked, like this one red one right there. Is that the red one? I think it is. That one red one. If you found that one and you're like, I want to keep that, trace that red flower right back into the canopy and take cuttings of that particular greenery, that material that the red flower came off of. And next year or in two weeks when they root you will have an exact identical genetic clone of that particular plant and every single bloom will come out red just like that one was so just to help you out very simply speaking this is what i do i'd come out here find a particular part of this i wanted to propagate and i just snap a piece off and there it is take one piece of that snip snip pull those leaves off right there I might cut a little bit off of that right below a leaf node, snip half the leaf off, stick that guy in a little humidity setup. It could just be a clear two liter soda bottle. It could be anything in just a nice medium. Now, I usually don't recommend potting soil for rooting cuttings, but I will tell you when it comes to these little petunias, they root so easily, you could put them in just about anything and they will root and they will grow just fine for you. So if all you have is potting soil, it will work for petunias, I guarantee you. If you don't have rooting hormone, they will root, I guarantee you. So there it is, that's how you make your hanging basket full again and you can do that all summer long. So right now, go get some cuttings. Get all your favorite ones together, take some cuttings, get them indoors, get them rooted. It should only take a couple weeks, three weeks max. And once they're rooted, pot them up and start growing them on under a beautiful little grow light and have fun with it all winter long. And then we found something else really cool. I'll put some links to these videos down below. In fact, just try and make it a little easier down in the description. So one thing that we found about this in a particular video was these things, they catch fungus gnats. Some people struggle with fungus gnats. And what I found, I found this by accident, growing these things indoors in my house, the leaves are sticky on petunias. They get covered in fungus gnats, kind of gross, but you can prune them back and start all over again and they'll just come out beautiful as ever. So go make yourself some fungus gnat traps and have a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along, have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video, adios.